which scale I'm using? Well, continue watching to learn about this one and many other interesting Ethiopian scales. Alright, welcome to this three-part series on Ethiopian scales. You'll probably find this interesting and useful if you're a jazz musician, an improviser, or you just have a general curiosity about world music styles. Just a brief side note about myself, my name is Jeff Dingler, I am a bass player in New York City, but I actually lived in Ethiopia for three years teaching music at a college in Addis. What was really cool about being there was not only teaching, but I had the privilege to play with many great local musicians and learn about their music directly from them. In part one of this series, we'll focus on learning some of the Ethiopian pentatonic scales. In subsequent videos, we'll cover topics such as phrasing, ornamentation, chord scale relationships, and applications for improvising musicians. So let's jump right into part one, the scales. There are many different Ethiopian scales, but for today we're going to focus on the most commonly used ones. The Tizita major and minor, the Bati major and minor, the Ambasal, and the Anchoi scales. These are all five note pentatonic scales. Some will likely overlap with pentatonic scales you're already familiar with. I'm sure though that others are going to be a completely new sound for you to explore. In all these examples, the root note is going to be A for each scale. You're also going to hear me play the scale in two octaves against an A drone, so you can hear what the scale sounds like relative to the bass note. As I'm playing the scale, you'll notice the corresponding note name and numerical interval below. And if you're at all confused about the numerical interval, here's a quick chart clarifying what that means. If you'd like to see what these scales look like written out in musical notation, please click the corresponding link below for a free PDF of this lesson. The last scale you just heard, the Anchoi, was the same scale I used in the beginning improvisation, as well as the background music you heard throughout the video. That track was by the Addis Acoustic Project and was entitled Anchim Ande Leila. I'll include the link to that song in the description. Make sure to click the link for the accompanying PDF for today's lesson. It has the notation and tablature for all the scales I just played, and it's completely free. Also, make sure to subscribe or like my page Jeff Dingler Bass on Facebook as I'm going to be putting out a part two in this series focusing on Ethiopian phrasing and ornamentation as it relates to these scales. Thanks for watching and if you found this video useful, please feel free to give it a like or a share.